Hello, this is Tom Bailey, English teacher at Northside High School. I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to use the, um, the image, inserting images function in Kami. Um, if you click over here in Kami, and it's a little difficult to see, I'm going to reduce the size just for a second, and then uh, expand this back out. If you click on the image icon in the left-hand side of your toolbar, there are three options for inserting images. One, you can insert from your computer. So, for the sake of illustration, I'm going to pick that, and uh, I'm going to navigate to my desktop, which is actually where I have a um, photograph of Shakespeare saved on the desktop. You simply select it, and you click Open, and then it comes in, and it asks you, where do you want to drop it? So, if I click to drop it, it goes like right here, and then you can resize it according to what you want it to, to do. It usually keeps its aspect ratio as you're doing that, but that is one way that you can insert a, a photograph. If you want to move it around, you just click and then you can move it to wherever you want it to go. Um, if you want to get rid of it, you can simply do this. If you want to crop it and you want to just take like the edge off, you can crop it that way and you'll see that it has been edited and you can undo the same function by hitting undo. Or sorry, that's the rotate. I thought it was going to be the undo function. Nonetheless, that is how you insert a photo from the desktop or from a local file. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to do the next one, which is to insert it from Google Drive. As you see, I'm logged into my Google Drive in the upper right-hand corner. So if I click uh, Upload from Google Drive, it'll ask me what I want to upload, and as it turns out, the images that are in my Google Drive, I've only got two saved right now. One was from Fast Food Nation, and the other one was a work of art about the death of uh, Julius Caesar. And that's what our notes happen to be about. So I'm going to select it. And the exact same situation takes place where it asks you where you want to put it. And I'm not clicked right now, but when I click it, I drop it. And then you can resize it accordingly. So that is how you do it from Google Drive. One last thing that you can do then is you can actually do a Google search for uh, somebody that you might want to use the photograph for. And it's really cool. Uh, aspect that you can do in historical or, or works of literature or whatever where you want to get pictures of characters. So if I click, um, you search from uh, Google Drive, I'm going to click right there. This comes up and actually I'm just going to look up Julius Caesar. And what did Julius Caesar look like according to Google Images? I click on that and go, oh, look, there's, there's some statues of Julius Caesar. I'm just going to pick this one and I'm going to hit select. And I do the exact same function that you did before. So in addition to, like if you've already searched for your photos ahead of time that you wanted to use, or if you wanted to just do a Google search for the character that you wanted to insert there, you can simply do that those three ways. Um, and similarly, then you can get rid of them by clicking and then doing the delete function. You can crop them, you can rotate them, et cetera. To move them, you click on that icon and it tells uh, Cami that you want to move it somewhere else. But that's the basic uh, directions on how to insert images. One, you can upload from your local computer. The second one, you can go from your Google Drive. And the third one is you can do a Google search. Thank you.